More overseas right now, so huge opportunity in Europe simply because of what was discussed, Brexit. More, dis more possible distress elsewhere rather than here? Yeah, because here what's clear is you're not going into a recession. What you'll have here is sort of default rate will stay where it is. You'll have, you may have more stressed opportunities, but in Europe, because of the uncertainty on Brexit, a lot more to do because people are very nervous. In Asia, a lot to do. Why? Because China's slowing down, right? So wherever, like going from 6% to 4% growth, that's great if you're in the U.S. If you're out in Asia, that means all of a sudden everything slowed down by 25%. It's like what's happening here. We've gone from sort of three to one and a half, and we're all nervous about that. So more opportunities there. I would say if here we're going into a recession, and if you remember at the beginning of the year, that's what everybody thought. And all of a sudden now, everybody's like, how much longer is this expansion going, right? The, the narrative has changed. So I think for us here in the U.S., the opportunities we're seeing are much more stressed as opposed to distressed. Does, does China's ability to stimulate its economy seemingly endlessly and the prospects of a trade deal make some of those bets a little more risky given the, you know, unknown variables that, that are... Play now, the, there? The, the problem in Asia, China can do whatever it wants. The problem, the biggest thing they've done is they've cut back on sort of their banks lending money outside of China. So what you're finding is, and that's happening around the world, that banks are tightening so that there's more opportunities for firms like ours because we're lending money. We're doing the direct lending and we're stepping in and we're charging. At high rates, right? Yeah, in Asia, we're charging 15 to 20 percent. So think about it, you've got a zero rate environment or a 2% environment, and we're able to charge anywhere between sort of seven to 10 times that amount. You view that as extremely low, if not, I know it's dangerous to say no risk, but I've heard you describe it as almost that. It's every time we're lending in Asia, we're doing it with two times the collateral value. So I'm not saying things can't go wrong, they always can, but for whatever reason, that lack of capital is giving us a huge opportunity that we can lend quite a bit of money.